It looks like we we did plan this. Yeah, we're giving. I borrowed this. We're giving. Did you get a job at the valet? Hello. Hey, what's going Hi. on? Unforgettable Gala. Hey guys. It's me and Jr. I'm Jr. and is Atsuko looking at each, each other's, other's cameras. cameras. And now back to our camera. Mm-hmm. <sighs> hey guys. Hey. So Atsuko. It's been so long. I know. I know. This is not how I would prefer to hang out with you. <laughs> no, this In is... a big old purse dress. Yes. I have to sit very differently, barely breathing right now. I like it. Instantly, it was a statement. Yeah, it's a statement. Look I look stunned. Like, this is me on the red carpet. I just <laughs> stunned. How is your process of figuring out... Yeah, no, I'm just saying, I'm getting ready for the question. Yeah. But also, if you, yeah, yeah this dress is mm -hmm. like, a, I have to sit up for it. I yeah. feel like you're. I'm ready. Answer ready. Uh huh, I'm answer ready. How did you know when you were ready for our special? Because oh, yeah. as comics, I feel like our specials are like, since you start, it's like this monumental thing to do in your career. So, how did you know when, okay, my set, my material, my jokes are ready? to do an hour special from that moment to then taping it and releasing it and like promoting it and all that. What was that journey like for you? Yeah, because we're always like editing it, right? Maybe it's like a book, any piece of art where you could be like, ah, I could, you could keep adding or keep editing it. Mm -hmm. So it's about like, I think the feeling for me, how much more could I perform this and have it still be fun and genuine for me, right? I yeah. think that's really important. But also it helped that I had a deadline too, you know, for where sure. like, HBO was like, we want to shoot it in October. Mm -hmm. So then it was like, that really helps. I think for artists, deadlines help. Yeah. You can set it yourself too, right? And go, for sure. I'm shooting my special this month. And then that way, it's like, that's the culmination. That's the graduation of it. How was the, because I just taped it like two weeks ago. Yeah. How was the actual night? Did you do two shows or multiple? Two shows, yeah. Okay. How many did you do? Two. Did you yeah. prefer one or the other? I, I haven't looked at the footage yet, but mm -hmm. I think the second show. Feeling wise? Yes. Yeah. How yeah. did you feel? I'm like a first take kind of person yeah. because I'm so like raw. I mean, they saw they saw our first take of this. I know. Like, this, this, this is our third time doing this. If right now is like the stiffest version you're getting out of us, okay? <laughs> when the cameras were rolling, gold, gold. Yes. We were like, uh, hello, Improv. that was, that's all we have, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, when we were just like, oh, is the mic on? Hey, yeah. you know, but that was, now. That was our stuff. That was yeah, kind of our that stuff. Yeah, that was the best. But now, sorry, you're getting a stiffer performance, <laughs> you know? For me, it's like a first take kind of person, but mm -hmm. Um, it makes sense. I think most people do prefer the second one because you got to play and now yeah. like really, it's really in your... Did you use most of the stuff from the first show? Yes, yeah, you first did? show. Yeah. Most okay. of the stuff from the first show. How was the taping overall? I liked it. It was good. I used most of the stuff from the second show because I felt like the first show... I mean, I was in a really small, intimate space. I did a club, yeah. a comedy oh, club awesome. as opposed yeah. to like a bigger venue. And I think the crowd could just see and feel the cameras behind them or around them. Oh, interesting. And so I felt like the first show, I was, it was kind of stiffer. Yeah. So the second show, I did a little more crowd work to loosen it up first. Oh. And then started the show. Smart. Yeah. But. And that's the thing, like, we have to be so um, on our feet as comedians. Yeah. You know, we, like, we really, we should get paid more. We should. This is our hashtag. Yeah. Pay comedians more. more. Invite us to black tie events more. Yes. We're the degenerates yeah. of an event like this. That's what I'm saying. Because mm -hmm. you didn't even know it was a black tie event till last night. No. Yeah. But that's, that's, that's on me. That's not on them. I forgot. But like comedians, do you think we're really going to read an email? Yeah. If it says this is really important in the email, I will check it the morning of the uh -huh. event. So did you go shopping for this outfit? No. So I had this. Outfit? I had this. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you know what? I actually wore this in the special. <laughs> he is wearing his special outfit. Yeah. Okay. Now I have to wear it all the time because it's either like, well, he just wore it twice or it's like, oh, no, he wears that. It's beautiful, though. Thanks. Because I don't, you probably didn't take as many pictures as you did maybe tonight, the night of your special. Like, mm -hmm. you know, now you have it with a red carpet with this backdrop. Yeah, Next, that's true. With me together. It's cool. And it looks like we, 
We did plan this. Yeah, we're giving, I borrowed this. <laughs> okay, we're giving, JR didn't read the email. <laughs> we're giving, did you get a job at the valet? That's right. Yeah. We're giving, are we going to host this next year? <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. You've done this before. You've been at the gala before. I came last year, yeah. But I don't know if there was another comedian last year. I was so happy when they were like, you and JR. I was like, yeah. that's like a, because there's community, right? There's Asian community. Mm -hmm. Then there's like weirdos within the community mm -hmm. too. And yeah. you know, so when Let's you find, find those. those fellow weirdos, it's yeah. really, really Who do you beautiful. gravitate towards when you go to like an event? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like we go to these and everyone's standing around like. Right. Yeah. I mean, truly, oh God, interesting. <laughs> How do you tell like a fellow weirdo, right? Yeah, yeah, or something. It's like who looks like they're like making awkward jokes in a corner. Uh -huh. That's like yeah. that's where I go. Right. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. whoever is maybe looks like they're uninvited, <laughs> yeah, yeah. or like you know, <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my god, that's me. Yeah. I was just talking to myself in the corner too. Yeah. You know. I always go to that person because I want to be the person that's like, oh, if I was comforting them, mm -hmm. I'm really comforting myself. Right. But it was now I feel like I came from a different place. I'm oh. so excited to see your special. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I was, I was going to say the, the same compliment back before I even heard it. I was like, <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm so proud of you because yeah. we get to do some of the same venues together. Yeah. And, you know, like I was at uh, Blue Note and you were just there. Yeah. And you had sold out a bunch of shows. And, you know, I feel like there's a crossover for like the, you know, the fellow weirdos out there. Yeah, for us. totally. And, I feel like yeah. we have a similar, similar thing going on on stage, energy-wise. You always make me happy, on and off stage. Yeah, you do too. You make me happy too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they needed an ending. They were like, mm -hmm. so. Should we bow? Should we bow? Yeah. Oh, we can't, it's just the mics above us, but. That felt natural.